Janome. Kelly McKenzie here with Janome America. I'm going to show you an overview of the screen on the Quilt Maker Pro 20. Over here you'll see your navigating buttons to get to the different things on this screen. You have your home screen, which will be all your main settings for when we're sewing. You have your light screen, well, that, where you can change and turn off your main light, the ring light around your needle area, or you can do all lights at the same time. You also can dim or brighten those lights. The next button on your screen, it looks like a little tool. It will be where your timers and counters are set, um, where you can reset your easy set tension. Um, it'll have a diagnostic stage on here. It'll have a calculator and where you also would do software updates. If you were to ever have a software update, we would post that to our website at genomi.com under updates. And you would simply download the update to a USB stick. You would turn your screen up. You would put your USB stick right here. And then you would simply select software updates and follow the prompts. The next little screen setting on here is your settings. You will have your low bobbin alarm settings. You can set up to three different weights of thread. You would first record a full bobbin and then save that as one of your settings. Each time you wanted to put a new bobbin in, you would actually tell your machine that you're using a new bobbin. If you go back out into these settings, let me do that. You will also have where you can program your handlebar buttons. You will have your laser needle light where you can turn it off or on. You will have a few different alarms, a low bobbin alarm, a thread break alarm, and an overspeed alarm. The overspeed alarm is if you are sewing faster than it can regulate your stitches, it will let you know so that you know to slow down. On this screen is where you can program your star or your diamond button on your handlebars. To give it its function, you would select the little gray bar right here where the star is, and you could tell it what you want that function to be. I have the star set as tie off. If I wanted to change that, I would simply just select a different function. It would change, and I would know that now my star button is my needle up, needle down. I am though gonna go back and change it to my tie off. Same thing over here with your diamond button. You can change it to any of these different functions right here. And that is the section of the screen where you can change your programmable buttons. On this screen is your needle laser light. You can turn that laser light on or off by just selecting the button. On the next screen is your bobbin alarm buttons. You have a low bobbin alarm, a thread break alarm, and an overspeed alarm. To turn those on, you would simply make them blue. If they're blue, then they will do their function. If they're not, that function is turned off. Right here is where you would select how many tie-offs you want your machine to do when you do the lightning speed tie-off stitch. You would hit the plus sign to make it have more tie-offs or the minus sign to make it have less tie-offs. On the next screen is your language. Right now it is set on English. To change that, you would select that bar and select the language that you would need. The next and last icon on your screen is a little I button that's for information. This is a help section for you that gives you a little bit of information on needle and threads. What size needle to use with what kind of thread. It also has a few other helpful buttons on there, if I can get back to it, sorry about that. Um, it will show you a diagram of how to thread your machine, which we will have a video on that also. And then it also will tell you the lifetime stitch count on your machine, um, how many hours you've stitched on it, what hardware version you have, what machine software version you have, and for the screens versions also. Every time your machine reaches 10 million stitches or it is two years old, you will need to get your machine sent to your Janome dealer and have it serviced and oiled and have all the maintenance done on it that it would need. 
So this is where you can go back and look to see how close you are to getting to need a service or on your machine. That is the whole overview of the screen on the Quiltmaker Pro 20.